Turning to local coverage now, police have made an arrest in a shocking attack that crossed over city lines. So a man was stabbed in Providence and then shot after he ran 30 feet over into the city of Cranston. We're learning more about the suspect involved here. Reporter Brittany Schaefer is live at Cranston Police Headquarters with the full story. Well, Danielle Cranston police say they were called to a Dyer Avenue convenience store for reports of a stabbing. Then when they were on their way there, they learned that the victim had later been shot as well. That victim did suffer serious injuries, but is expected to survive. According to Cranston police, the victim was shot in the leg or excuse me, stabbed in the leg on the Cranston Providence city line in Providence. The unidentified man then ran into the Ocean State Market for help. The victim then saw an acquaintance and walked out of the store. That's when police say Michael McCombs shot him in the torso. The 33 year old later turned himself into Cranston Police Headquarters. Major Todd Padalano says the victim was targeted and the suspect and victim knew each other with common children and relationships. He tells me a woman who knew both the suspect and victim was in between them during part of the incident. That's something we confront uh, daily. I mean, something that was unique in itself that, you know, you get a recall of a, st a stabbing and while you're en route, you've learned that now he's been shot. So, yeah, that's somewhat unique that you don't encounter anywhere daily, you know. We will say that, you know, we have surveillance footage and, and yes, there was someone between them um, when the person was shot. So, yeah, that's certainly troubling that and we're fortunate that nobody else got killed or hurt or injured. And right now, Cranston police have only made an arrest for the shooting. Providence police are responsible for making an arrest for the stabbing, but they have not announced if they have made an arrest at this time. McCombs was held on $50,000 bail with surety and also ordered to surrender all firearms. Live in Cranston, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.